I had several pipes that are fairly useless. Uh, one was the Missouri Meerschaum. What's the really tall one? The um, MacArthur. Novelty. Just useless. I just, I just had no use for it, so I'm looking to do a little cob foolery on it and mess around with it and do something with it, so I started cutting it up today. Day off from cutting hair, working on videos all day and some other business development things. Uh, the other useless pipe that I've had was this Missouri Meerschaum, what is it, the Mark Twain? Is that what this is? Uh, just not a fan of it. It just gurgled. It never had a good draw. So I took a basket pipe that I have that had a great saddle bit right here. And I cut off the shank, and I'm going to be making like a little ants out of what's left of the, the briar bowl of the basket pipe. And this right here, I basically just took the shank, cut it, put a little draft hole in it. And I'm going to glue it inside the, uh, the Mark Twain. Simple. Not real complicated at all. I'm just tired of uh, having pipes around the house that are just like useless. And then you just kind of, you can just butcher them up and have a little fun with them. Right? Had a little fun watching some videos. Jason has a good one. So, Elmer's glue, lining up the draft hole, basically just going to pound that in there. It does fit fairly well already, don't want to mess up the I am not a pipe maker. I did. I, I have made like five pipes, just total rednecky kind of things. There comes that. Uh, and my and the pipes that I have made, my lord, they smoke so well. I can't believe it. I mean, it's insane. It's insane how they smoke. All right. Now let me just see something here. Just get rid of. Uh, Elmer's does wash off, so that just gets wiped on the gnarly Honda shirt. <laughs> All right, let's see something here. Just want to make sure it's not drawing air from. You know, I don't have uh, I don't have access to all my tools right here, so. That's kind of like the neat thing about what I'm. I mean, this is just total rednecking it. Just rig, rigging this up. Like that. And then the, the bit is going to go in there. Twist that sucker in there. Like that. And that's exactly what I was looking for. Something like that. Now, I might angle it like a Dagner. I'm not sure. But with the little rubber tip for cl I am I'm, I'm more of a hanger than a clencher so this will work well I already started mixing up my inks red green and blue alcohol ink to put on this what I'm gonna do is I'm basically going to uh, rusticate it somehow I'm not sure what I want to do yet and then I'll stain it and I kind of like it. It's already got a decent draw. But has anyone ever made a kind of a, a poker out of this Mark Twain? What is that, like a Dublin shape? Is that what they call that? I'm not sure. But as far as in my hand, you can see, fits in my hand. It'll be a rugged pipe. It's going to be it's going to be pretty good when it's done. But I'll I'll keep you filled in. I'm kind of excited about it. I haven't screwed around with a pipe in a long time. So, 
every now and then I have to do something physical, you know, because I'm in a mental game so much that it's just nice to use my hands. And uh, when I get the new house, there definitely has to be a garage and a workshop to just putter around and do things. That's important because I like making things as far as uh, tools and even even my own jewelry and stuff. All right. Tell me what you think of that. I think it's pretty cool. It's a good size. And uh, with or without the little clencher rubber thing, the options are going to be, um, well, here we go. Let me just see if it sits. Hold on. Without tipping over. Yeah, good. So the, the, the shank and stem are not heavier than the bowl. It does kind of sit up by itself, and that's what I wanted. I wanted a sitter, so I wasn't sure if I was going to kind of like dagger this out a little bit and put this at an angle so it sits more like that. I don't know. We'll see. But we draw inspiration from a lot of different people and a lot of different things. Let me know what you think. Thanks.